Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. preview of the big picture produced by Papa's Accelo Pictures Corporation has been shown. Sidney and Harold spent $250,000 on it, and if it fails to make a hit, well, it would be just too bad. Just now, we find Mama and Papa at home. The time, after the preview, Mama is speaking. Papa, it was a very, very good picture, and the iron suits looked lovely. Yeah, might have looked lovely, Mama, but did everybody like it? Jake, you would have known if you'd been staying for a while when the people was leaving the show. Oh, Mama, I couldn't stand around. I, I had to come home. Yeah, darling, I know. I was nervous, too, Jake. Becky? Yeah? Becky, do you think it was a good picture? I thought it was, Jake, but maybe I'm president. You what? Oh, president. That means that I'm liking it because you and the boys made it. <laughs> Mama, you mean prejudice. I mean that because you made it, I like it. You know something, Mama? Hmm? I love you. That's nice, Papa. I love you. <sighs> you tired, Jay? Why don't you go to bed? It's after 12 o'clock. Oh, Mama, I couldn't go to bed. I'm too tired. That's foolish talk, Jake. When you're tired, you should go to bed. I would only dream of men in iron suits and of horses in iron suits riding over me. <laughs> oh, my, that was a very lovely part of the picture when all the horses ran over the field. <laughs> that was a tournament, It Mama. was a very lovely scene. The people clapped for oh, it. Oh, that was me. Huh? You wasn't the only one, Papa. Well, maybe I made enough noise for a lot of people. You know something, Papa? Mm -hmm. It was the only movie that you didn't go to sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> How could I go to sleep with $250,000 looking me in the face from the screen? <laughs> yeah, and wasn't Rachel Rabinovich lovely? Ma, you would never think to look from her that her father runs a delicatessen in the Bronx. For $2,000 a week, she shouldn't look like her father runs a delicatessen. She should look like he owns a diamond mine. Yeah, that's right, Papa, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> uh, Mama, where did the children go? They said they was going to our party. They wanted that you and me should come along, but I said that we were very tired. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad we didn't go. Yeah. <sighs> Papa, why are you saying like that? Why? Because all night long I won't sleep, Mama. I'll be waiting for tomorrow to come to find out how the people like the picture. Jake, you should sleep. Yeah, sure, Mama. Sure, because if you're staying awake all night, it ain't going to make the day come any sooner. The night is just so long. And if you're trying to rush the day into coming around, you will only make it be farther away. Remember the old adboy, Papa, that a watched kettle shouldn't call the pot boiler black. What? <laughs> that one is so turned around, Mama, that even Einstein couldn't make something out of it. Who's he? Who's he? He is who Harold and Sidney think they are. Is he smart? Yeah, he's very smart. Well, then maybe Sidney and Harold are smart like he is. Maybe. I will wait until tomorrow and then I'll tell you. Papa, please go to bed. You're looking like a nervous wretch. I'm feeling like one. <sighs> oh, he's a telephone. I know it, Mama. I know it. Who could be calling at a time like this? You ain't going to find out by standing there. Jake, will you answer me? I'm afraid to. Jake, uh, it ain't for the wrong number because they're ringing twice. Answer it, Papa, yeah, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello? Uh -huh. Sydney. Yeah, where are you? Sydney, ten minutes ago we left him and yeah. he's telephoning us. What's the matter, Jake? Uh, Sydney, wait a minute. Mama, look. I got two ears. One of them is on the telephone and the other one can't listen to you. With What's the, the wait matter, a minute. Jake? Uh, that, uh, oh. All right, Jake, go ahead. Huh? Answer. Uh, all right, thank you. Hello, hello, Sydney. <laughs> it's me again, Papa, yeah. <laughs> Just had a little argument with Mama, that's all. But what? What's the matter? 
Yeah? Oh, they did. <laughs> That's good, Sydney. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you called up. I'll tell Mama. Goodbye, Sydney. Goodbye. Papa. Papa's anything wrong? No, no, Mom. Everything's all right. <laughs> Are they smart boys? Jack, don't aggravate me. Tell me what he wanted. Becky, everybody thinks the picture is very good. It's oh? going to be... Um, <laughs> Sydney says it's going to be good box office. Oi, Papa, I'm so glad. I am too, Mom. I'm very happy. <laughs> Maybe now you go to bed, Mama, Jack. Mom, I couldn't be going to bed now. I'm all excited. I think I'm going to dance now. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, you're shaking the whole house. <laughs> you can't slip the light fancy in here. The room's too little. <laughs> Mama, do the Kazatsky with me. Huh? <laughs> it's just crazy. Da, 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 da. Like a little boy, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know something, Mama? I know that you're going to get all out of breathing. <laughs> I got plenty left. But Mama, the picture is good. Everybody says yeah, so. Yeah, I think I got... Uh... Oh, yeah, okay. I'll answer it, Mama. I'll answer yeah. it. Hello? Yeah? Oh, Mr. Elman? Yeah? They did. <laughs> it's very fine. Yes, I'm going to give everybody a raise. Yeah, but don't tell them. I will tell them. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Mama, thank you. That was Mr. Elman. I heard you say it, Jake. Am I deep? He's saying that everybody thinks the picture is fine. Some exhibitors are wanting it already. <laughs> so something that you have to sneak in, they like. Oh, Becky, Becky, I'm so happy. Yeah, Jake. <laughs> Jake, I want you should tell me something. Anything, Mom, anything. I'll even tell you about the time I took Ida Gold Fab to Coney Island. Uh -huh. uh, no, I won't. Uh, I know all about that. But I'm wanting you to tell me. If it was the lot of money that was worrying you, or better people in New York would think you was crazy, which was it? No. All right, I'll tell you. For the money, Mom, I should care. Yeah. If it's spent, it's spent, and we can't have it back. But you know, I... I was worried because I thought maybe Sam, or anybody back in New York, would, would say that I was crazy. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> now we'll go to bed, Papa. Go to bed, Mama? That's crazy. I want to go to a nightclub. Oh, to a nightclub he wants to Sure. Go. Jake, we will stay right here. Oh, Mama. Herring I got in the icebox. We'll have a little party for ourselves. Herring you got? Sure. <laughs> All right, Becky. Yes, you Mmm, that ain't a bad name, Mama. That ain't a bad name. Mm, Mama, that ain't a bad name. So, now because you made a good picture, you're going to be Yasha Blumikoff. Jake Bloom ain't good enough. Oh, it ain't that, Mama. Jake, you remember the time you had the little tailor shop in New York? Uh-huh. Until after midnight, you would work on the lamp that burnt all the hair off the top of your head. Then you was just Jake Bloom. Then you got the new pants business? Yeah, I remember, Mama. I remember. So you got the new pants business. A good business, it was. Sure. Little by little, it got bigger until you had the factory. And you made very good knee pants, Papa. And the best in New York. Yeah, and then along came Sydney, and he got a uniform business for you. The uniform business was very good, and you made money. Sure, Mama, sure, but still Wait a I... minute, Jack, I ain't finished. Oh, you yeah, ain't. So you made money, and you was honest in everything. Who said I wasn't? The customers always got a good deal? Sure they did, Papa, and who gave them the good deal? You did. Mm -hmm. So the knee pants business and the uniform business got so big that somebody else wanted to buy it from you. So you sold it. For a profit. For a profit. All that you did, Jake. And who was you? Who was I? Mommy, you're asking crazy questions. Who do you think I was? I'm asking you. Who was you? I was me. I was Jake Bloom. Uh-huh. You was Jake Bloom. Jake Bloom, who was a good businessman in knee pants and uniform manufacturing. Everybody knew Jake Bloom. Well? The knee pants wasn't fancy. Maybe some of the uniforms was. But you were still Jake Bloom. I was still Jake Bloom, and I'm still wondering what you're going to say. I will get around from it in a minute. You're telling me. So you're coming to Hollywood, and you're making a picture that's a clacker. Click. It was good. Everybody said so. So who are you now? I am Jacob Bloom. Uh-huh. You're still Jake Bloom? Mm-hmm. So you should stay that way. Jake Bloom was good enough for the new pants and the uniform, so why ain't Jake Bloom good enough for the movie business? But, Mama, it is. It is nothing, Jake. Nobody, Papa. Nobody should change your name because he's going in another business. But... Maybe Yasha Blumikoff looks better on the posters and the movies. But you shouldn't like but it. But look... Uh, it's like the man who's going out. He wears a coat with tails on it and a stiff front to his shirt. He looks very lovely. But he shouldn't be changing his name because he changes his clothes. Uh, Maybe a Tommy likes to dress in old clothes and be comfortable. So when he's doing that, then he is who he is. Do you see, Papa? Yeah. Yeah, I see, Mom. I see, and you're right. Jake Bloom I've always been, and Jake Bloom I'm going to be some more. That's good, Papa. That's good. Now we'll go to bed. All right, Becky. <sighs> Becky, what's the matter? I'm worried about you now, Papa. You're worried about me? Why? I'm very happy. <laughs> I ain't ever been so happy. I'm healthy. I and... know that, Jake. Then why should you worry? I'm worried that because you made a picture that cost a lot of money, you'll try to do it again. Maybe the next time it won't be so no, good. No, no, no. Don't you worry about that, Mama. Maybe I ain't even going to work anymore. 
Jake, what would you be doing if you ain't going to avoid? I, uh, Mama, where are my pajamas? In the cupboard, Jake, hanging on the hook where they belong. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't find them. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Jake, I asked you a civilized question. Why ain't you answering? Huh? I asked you what you would be doing if you ain't working. No, I don't know, Mama. Maybe, uh, maybe we will take a little vacation. Hmm, we came to Hollywood for our vacation, but you're finding something to do. I know, Becky, I know, but this time it'll be different. <laughs> maybe I'm getting too old to work anymore. Maybe Sydney and Harold was right. They got young ideas, I got old ones. I didn't think they could make the big picture so good, but they did it. So? So, so. So, so, I'm thinking maybe I'll get out of the business and let them have it. Jake, get out of business, you're like a fish out of a goldfish globe. Well, I'm a little tired of working, Mama. Maybe we'll take it very easy. Jake? Yeah? You mean it? Sure, I mean it, Becky. <laughs> For 25 years, I've been wanting to mean it. And now I can. I'm seeing that Sidney and Harold are smart boys. Mm -hmm. And they can handle the movie business. All right, so I'll let them have it. And you and me, Mama... You know, son, we'll go on a vacation. Oh, Papa, I'm so glad to hear you say that. And why shouldn't I say it, Mama? You should. <laughs> sure, I should. <laughs> well, what's the matter? Ain't you ready for bed yet, Mama? Yeah, yeah, in a minute, darling. Now hurry up, because now I'm very sleepy. Sure, Papa, uh, sure. Uh, am I going to sleep good? Mm. Uh, I'm going to start on my vacation right now. That's good, Papa, that's good. <laughs> for 25 years, we waited for it. She's in Harold is smart, boy. So they'll handle the business. No more work for me. Turn out the light, Mama. Yeah. <sighs> Good night, Papa. Good night, Mama. Uh, Papa. Yes, Becky? Where are we going on a vacation? <laughs> any place you want to go, Mama. Maybe to Yellowstone Park? Any place, Mama, any place. That's good, Papa. That's good. Good night, darling. Enjoy your vacation. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mama, sweetheart. Thank you. Oi! Hey, where's Mia? Papa! Papa, you scared me out of my wigs. What's the matter? Mama! Mama, I forgot to set the alarm clock, and I want to get to work early in the morning. <laughs>